Hey guys, the Riven Worm back here in the town of Dry Lake. And if you haven't seen the first video, please check it out. But for the rest of you, let's continue the tour. Here we have the church at the end of the street. I worked on this for quite a while and uh, I think it ended up looking nice. It did look absolutely terrible. <laughs> it really did. Uh, down here is the catacombs, but you need the key to get to that. Key safely up in the uh, priest's office. We have the podium, whatever you call that. Sorry, I'm not a church person. Baptismal pool. Yay, I'm saved. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's head upstairs to the uh, priest's office, where, as I said, the key to the basement. No real point in going down there. There's nothing there. I, I never built anything. Um. Yeah, but I just never could think of anything to build there. I will eventually. Oh, whoa. Get up here to the bell tower and have a nice view of the stupid little piece of snow that that annoys the hell out of me. Uh, pretty good view of town, though. Come up here. And the lake over there. And the rain. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait for the rain to stop and then continue the tour. Okay, guys, it's still raining, but I decided that would be appropriate since now we're going to visit the cemetery. Oh, See, I haven't filled in all the graves yet. Um... I have a few names, and I haven't really thought of any good ones. But uh, for my grave, what I do is I like to put a chest down in it and build a little man out of bones or leather. You know, nice, fresh corpses. Just because, hey, you know, an empty grave would just be creepy. Like this. <laughs> this grave formerly belonged to a duck, but now stands empty. Uh, if you can think of any good names, you know, let me know. I'm looking for kind of amusing things that you, the RPG sort of graveyard thing. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, now that the weather's cleared up, I'll take you on a tour of the more residential section of town. Because like I said, people do live here, I swear it. <laughs> this nice birchwood house belongs to the mayor. It's got all the uh, latest conveniences, a nice bridge. Let's see what we get here. Golden apple! <laughs> what do you know? Man. The mayor, he lives the good life. Not a very big house, though, <laughs> in all honesty. Uh, here we go to the uh, actual residential section. This is Miss Bitters' house. And, um... You can see my fireplace here. It really worried me with the update, and I'm I'm still very wary of having these fireplaces because I do not want my town to burn down. But uh, so far they've been good. So far to date, I have not burned down a single house th making a fireplace in it, and I am pretty proud of that. Okay, well let's. Head on down to the basement and, uh. Oh. Oh god. We. We 
should go. <laughs> Something terrible happened there. <laughs> um, moving right along. There's a few more houses in town. Uh, pretty simple ones. You know, just nothing even in the chests. Uh, usually I put some things in there. Ugh, more lag. But, you know, this is this is Charlie Huffer's house. The smallest one in town. Poor guy. Barely makes a living working for the rich-ass judge. See, there, there's a whole story. This is the judge's house. Probably the nicest one in town. Duh. No, just houses. <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's really that interesting, but I, I like designing different kinds of houses, seeing you know how if similar I can make them and how different I can make them just in one town. I don't know. I think this one probably is the nicest house in town though. And uh town pretty much ends here. There's a nice little bridge and the uh the tracks meet up. Got a good view of the lake from here. Um, I didn't mention the well. It's a well. <laughs> Over here, we have the old boathouse. Because as I mentioned, this was one. This was once a uh, successful fishing village, and now it's just a dried-up, useless dock. And, um, well, this is the last place in town. I hope you enjoyed my, uh, tour of the little town of Dry Lake. It's, uh, something I'm kind of proud of, you know? I built an entire town, and, and I, I really think it looks nice, and, uh, I hope you do too. I, I'd like to hear, you know, whatever you think about it. I'm not really getting many comments at the moment, and, you know, I'd like to change that. <laughs> I'd like to hear a little more feedback on my videos, and and just basically hear from the people uh, watching it, because, uh, well, that's basically what it's all about. I want to entertain you guys with the nice things that I build, maybe give you some ideas for some things you'd like to build or or whatever you know and if if, if you want to build a town my best advice is go out and build it because hey you've got everything you need to do to make a really nice anything whatever you want that's the best thing about this game you can build whatever you want and it really never gets old and it is raining so uh I guess I'll leave you guys there with that. Um, be sure to comment and rate my videos. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I guess that's all. Till next time. Later, guys.